All right, everybody. Uh, I'm doing this radiator on this 98 Jeep Cherokee. It decided that it was going to uh, explode on me. And for Father's Day, instead of hanging out with the kids, I'm going to do my radiator so I can get to work on Monday. So long story short, let's get into it. Uh, looks like this radiator uh, top mount or top support these come off there's 10 millimeter bolts that go all the way across to the other side let's go and get all these out also there's this um, these two right here these are torques and get these out too okay so I got all these uh, ones off on the top it's like a couple nuts 10 millimeters went all the way across uh, we're gonna have to get these out these are Torx T30 Torx T30 these are like the star shaped ones and then also there's 10 millimeters on the side of this uh, bracket so right here there's also one I believe right here right here for the fan shrouds so check the side also we'll get this hose up and out the way so let's go ahead and get these out so I got these torques out all the way across now there's a 10 millimeter nut that holds the same bracket so I'm gonna go ahead and get the, these 10 millimeters out and just pull this little bracket out. Um, yeah, um, but if you don't have the Torx, you may be able to just to undo these 10 millimeter bolts and when this thing comes out, you could just kinda maybe twist it sideways to pull it out. You may not need to get these out, but I'm getting them out, so I'll let you know. But I'm gonna go ahead and get these 10 millimeter nuts off. Uh, there's like four of them down, down the way. Let me get these off. Also, again, get these these bolts and nuts off the side. Switch to eight millimeter for these ones. Okay, so you should have this one out, that one off, and that one off. Go ahead and do this one now. Okay. So this should be able to kind of pull back a little bit. This one, not quite yet. Uh, oh, maybe. Okay, so yeah, this should be able to come back a little bit from the top. This bracket should be able to do that. Now we gotta get this 10 millimeter right here. I'll probably use the open end wrench. Maybe, you might have to scoot the battery to the side a little bit. Go ahead and get that one out. I had to scoot the battery a little aside. I loosened this and this. I don't know if these are factory, but uh, the size I had to use was one half. And I just loosened them up just a little bit and then you could scoot the battery. So now I can get access to that 10 millimeter. All right, got that off. Go ahead and clear these tools off of here and try to pull this out. Okay, so first I'm gonna pull this one off. Like this, get this top one out. And I know I said if you don't have Torx, you might be able to get this this one off here. So I got that one out. Now this one has to come off. If you if you don't have the Torx and you left that part on that I just took off, you can probably snake it out still. Okay, so I'm gonna put this to the side here. Okay, let those chill right there for now. All right, so here's a radiator right there. Now, it actually doesn't seem like there's too much holding it in. What we're going to have to do is disconnect this upper hose. Um, just This is a flathead clamp, so I just unscrew it. If you have the squeeze type, you can just squeeze them and push them back. Um, this 10 millimeter's got to come off because this is where it's attached to the condenser right here. This 10 millimeter's got to come off and then um, also the lower radiator hose down there uh, needs to come off that clamp so if you haven't drained your coolant yet uh, drain your coolant 
because when you pull, pull these hoses off some coolant's going to come out mine shot out because my radiator exploded so uh, i'm gonna do that we're gonna get this hose off get this hose off and then it looks like we might be good after that we could pull it out all right guys so i'm underneath right now and uh, i'm on the passenger side now the drain to this radiator is up into this little nook um get these little wire harnesses aside and uh, I don't know if you can see it but it's that black thing right behind that harness you twist the end piece and it loosens it and then the coolant comes out of right there um, super tight spot not my favorite I'm probably just gonna pull the lower hose and let it just drain out you know get like a big bucket to catch it all but that's where the drain is uh, what people usually do is they'll they'll put like a hose on that drain and then turn it on and let it pour in a bucket um, doing it that way is really neat and not messy and but this, this is just a little too tight for me to go up there and get that one so I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna just drop the hose on the blower all right I got myself a bucket I'm gonna slide this underneath the uh, driver's side and uh, take that lower hose off what I'll do is I'll loosen it and then grab it right here pull it off and then all that coolant should go down into this into this guy um you know coolant's a uh what they call like a biohazard waste so do your best to capture it and uh, clean it up when you're done um it's real messy and if you don't get it perfect don't worry about it just clean it up real good anyways i'm gonna go ahead and drop this hose and then uh, come back and get my flathead down there to take this clamp off. Can't really see, but there's a little flathead spot to get that clamp off. That's all rusted, but um, yeah, get that super loose, and then you can pull this hose off. Sometimes you gotta kind of like a little pry on the hose a little bit to get it off. Um, be careful not to poke a hole in it if you're not replacing it. All right, got the hose off. Actually, came out pretty easy. Uh, like I said, I don't have much coolant left because mine, mine exploded right when I got home. But it's catching in there, so that's good. <clears throat> you should probably have a lot more. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get the other hose off while that's doing that. And then, like I said, get this 10 millimeter off. Get this 10 millimeter off. Here's the other hose. We'll get that off. Get this nice and loose. You don't have to do these until they come like completely apart. Just get loose enough to where you could just kind of be able to pull the hose off. You might have to twist the hose a little bit like back and forth to get it off. And then you pull it, you got to break because it, it like kind of forms to this over time. Okay, got this off. Took a bunch of coolant to the face when it came off, but that's okay. I'm gonna just put this here. I have a new hose, so I'm just gonna bend this like this to kind of keep it from leaking. Um, yep. If you take care of this hose if you're not replacing it, but I do recommend replacing it because the pressure that popped the radiator is always gonna be <clears throat> searching for its newest way out. So if you have old hoses uh, and the radiator is nice and good, then the pressure is gonna go somewhere else and try to find its way out. So just a tip. My 10 millimeter didn't really fit on these, so I had to use my 11 millimeter. It's kind of weird. We're supposed to be standard or something. Could be. Go ahead and get these ones off. This is gonna release it from the condenser. Try not to drop these. Remember to get this guy off. Now let's uh hmm. Let's see if I can pull this up yet. Nope. <clears throat> okay, I see uh it looks like eight millimeter right here. And eight millimeter right here. Just look for any additional stuff that's gonna hold this thing in. I think that's it. I think that and that and then we should be able to pull it out. Yeah, I don't see nothing else. Okay, so let me, I'm going to get those out off camera. So get yours out, this one, and that one over there, right here. 
Okay, got these out. Eight millimeters right here and right there. Okay, put these to the side. Just been saving these, all the bolts, keep them all. Okay, on the fan, I had to pull it up. There's little slots that go on it. Just pull these, pull this out the slots. Just kind of wiggle it up, pull it up. Let's see. Pull this out. Alright guys, so I didn't see this thing has a transmission line cooler set up. We're going to need to get this out. Disconnect this right here and this should come all the way out no problem. We got some uh, transmission lines hooked up to this radiator we got to disconnect. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this off. This has a red tab. Take a flathead and push the side of the tab to the other side so it pops out the other side. Now it's unlocked and that little button part right here you could push and, and pull this apart. All right, like that. Pull this guy out. Gently set him over there. I wish I got a new fan because this thing's heck loud when it runs. Uh, here's the training lines I'm talking about. This guy right here, that would be a pipe wrench. And down here, that looks like you need a line disconnect tool. Um, awesome, I was just at AutoZone 2 and I saw one. Okay, and then it looks like this down here, this screw we need to come undone to release this just from uh, the radiator. Alright, I'm going to get this stuff uh, unhooked.